Hey everybody, this is Beelit, and I got tagged to do a video with several anime questions by uh, Vengeful Wilberg. It's a little thing that's been going around, and it's taken me a while to get to it. I'm, I've been having really, really long days lately, so uh, you'll have to forgive me <laughs> that I haven't gotten around to it a little bit earlier. Um, but uh, we've got 14 questions here that I'm going to answer, so uh, we better <laughs> go ahead and get started. How did you choose your YouTube name? Uh, well, this is my, my YouTube name is the same as like my PlayStation Network ID. Um, it's Blit. The B comes from the first letter of my first name. L I T comes from the first three letters of my last name. So I just threw them together. How long have you been doing YouTube? Um, the first video that I did was in 2008, and it was a montage of screenshots from the upcoming game Killzone 2. Um, I really, really enjoyed Killzone 1, and my friends uh, and I played it a lot. <laughs> so I was really, really excited for it, and uh, so I made that little montage thing. Uh, the first gameplay video I did was 2009, and that was the Killzone 2 demo. And um, I, I did that with no HUD or crosshairs or anything, because, I don't know, immersion, I guess. <laughs> I was young and naive, I, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I thought it was cool. Why did you start making videos? Well, Killzone 2 was, was the big thing. Uh, that's what got me excited enough to actually go through and do some of the stuff. But uh, I kept doing videos because around that time I was having medical problems and I wasn't able to go to school. wasn't able to do the extracurricular activities that I had always done um, pretty much my entire life. So I really had nothing to do and I was just sitting at home all day every day. So... Um, I, I started playing video games more, and then I decided that I wanted to try to actually do something, you know, instead of just playing video games. So I decided to play video games, record them, edit them, and throw them up on YouTube. It wasn't much, but uh, it was something. What's your favorite anime genre? Uh, generally, I can't get really excited about something unless there's action in it, but I've I realized that a lot of my favorite anime have had kind of like these thriller kind of aspects to them uh, some mystery stuff um, a big thing like that is uh, Death Note Psychopaths um, those things really I, I, I enjoy putting pieces together I guess and so uh, I, I really enjoy those kind of elements but normally there has to be some sort of action involved um, yeah. What's your most unfamiliar genre? A slice of life. Easily. Easily. Um, I doubt I will ever watch a slice of life <laughs> anime. <laughs> ever. What's one thing that persuades you to keep watching an anime after episode one? Um, actually, mostly it's the world uh, of the anime. Um, how unique it is. Um, then you know the story and the characters of course but uh, I, I really enjoy having a unique world something that I feel like I haven't seen before um, uh, I, I realize that I, I have this affinity towards futuristic worlds um, Ghost in the Shell, Psychopaths um, I, I really like that kind of stuff uh, Cowboy Bebop there, there, there are a bunch but uh, I really like kind of that futuristic setting a lot um and i also kind of like dystopian kind of things as well so yeah that's that, uh, the, the world is a really big part of that who is your favorite japanese or english voice actor that's e okay this is going to be english easily steve bloom easily if if you don't know if you don't know steve bloom then i'd you're missing out. You're... Wow. That must suck to be you. But <laughs> Steve Bloom is awesome. What is your favorite anime soundtrack? Um... I guess I would have to go with Cowboy Bebop. But I really like Cowboy Bebop, Ghost in the Shell, um, and Samurai Champloo. I think those are my... Th those are my top three. I'm, I'm not sure... If I had to pick one, it'd probably be Cowboy Bebop, but I really, I really like all, all three of those soundtracks. 
What anime song are you addicted to? Oh, that's that's easy. Sono Chino Sadame. Jo Jo. It's, it's, it's the best. <laughs> do you like to buy anime merchandise? If so, what do you collect? Uh, I haven't. I I wasn't really big on buying stuff, you know, that I didn't need. Um, at least I I, I I when I oh right growing up, I wasn't really big about that kind of stuff. But just recently, I've been starting to kind of appreciate having things like that. Um, and I think the big thing for me is probably going to be statues. Uh, the first statue I got was from the oh, oh yeah the uh, collector's edition of Batman Arkham City and th this is an anime but uh, it when I saw that statue I realized that it was actually really nice and if more statues were like this I'd really want to have some um, and then the Storm 3 collector's edition I got Naruto and Sasuke and I really like those too uh, and just recently a friend got me a statue of Super Vegeta and it's freaking awesome so I'm pretty sure statues are gonna be my thing uh, I just have to kind of find which statues I like but uh, yeah pretty sure it's gonna be statues what is your guilty pleasure anime there's I don't know if I have a guilty pleasure uh, there's there's one that I don't want people to know I watched, but it's not a guilty pleasure because I didn't really enjoy it. <laughs> I just I just watched it. Um, but I, I guess if I have to pick one, it would be Rin, Daughters of Minisini, 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 Minisini. Uh, one of that, one of those. Um, <laughs> it it's about these private investigators who are immortal, and it's a really awesome concept and the first episode was freaking amazing but then at the end of the second episode it kind of changed and you realize that this might become softcore porn and then it totally did and it was only six episodes long in the first episode and in, in the second episode up until that that point at the end they were so good that I couldn't not watch the rest, you know, because I thought, well, it's probably not going to be that bad, you know, like it's just going to be here and there, you know. I can take a little bit of fan service. I didn't, I didn't realize exactly how far it was going to go, and by the end, it went pretty far. <laughs> um, I, it didn't have to go that way. I really don't think it had to go that way. So, um. I guess that would be my guilty pleasure, if anything. Um, yeah, it had it had potential, and then it just, eh, went off. What anime made you cry? Eh, a lot. There's a lot. Um, Naruto. There was Haku and Zabuza. Um, Asuma's death, more so because of how it affected Shikamaru. Um, that that was a big thing. Um. Jiraiya's death, of course. I, I think everyone liked Jiraiya to some degree. Uh, he may not be a super popular character with a lot of people. He might not be many people's favorite character. But I think we all liked him to some degree. You know, and so I think that was one of those deaths that pretty much affected everybody. Um, but Shikamaru was one of my favorite characters in the series. And... The way that he had to fight alongside Asuma, and how he tried over and over to save Asuma and just couldn't do it in the end and had to see it, that was heartbreaking. That was just... that was horrible. Um, so other things. Uh, Angel Beats. Shoutouts to Con Maestro for not telling me about, quote unquote, that episode. <laughs> Uh, let's see, every episode of Dragon Ball GT and Pokemon, uh, the Butterfree episode and the Charizard episode. If you guys watch Pokemon, you know exactly what episodes those are. So, well, I mean the original Pokemon. That's, you guys might might be watching some of that new crap, but we're, I'm talking original stuff. <laughs> the Butterfree episode and the Charizard episode, you guys know what I'm talking about. What is your favorite food to eat when you're having an anime marathon? I don't have anime marathons very often most of the time it'll just be one or two episodes 
but if I have it available, I really like to have uh, pecan pie with vanilla ice cream. So what you do, you warm up the pecan pie, and then you put the vanilla ice cream on top of it, and then you go to heaven. <laughs> that's, that's exactly how it works. What anime are you currently watching right now? Right now, I'm... Well, I'm... Hmm, how should I... Okay, I'm watching JoJo, but I'm waiting for the part 3 finale so that I can watch the entire final arc thing without having to wait a week, wait a week, wait a week. So, I'm watching JoJo, just not... I'm, I'm waiting for these last few episodes. Um, that's it? Did we get through all this? Wow, I did a good job of not, like, going off onto a tangent and getting sidetracked and rambling. Normally, normally I always ramble, and then things like this become 30-minute <laughs> ordeals. Um, okay, cool. So I guess I'm done. So I, I guess I'm supposed to tag people to do it. The, the, the crappy part is I don't think that anyone that I tag will actually do it. That's 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 the bad thing here. So you know, uh, should I even bother? I don't think they're going to. I really don't think they're going to. They're not going to. Okay, well, I'll do it anyway just just for funsies. Um I'll tag Mike and Ike and Con Maestro. They're not going to do it. But I'm going to tag them anyway. So, I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.